Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. Melissa and I are in Hawaii today. It's our first vacation without kids in like, I think about five years, and it is a such a beautiful place we're at. There's an adults only pool, which usually we have, you know, the little kids splashing around and all sorts of stuff, but this has been like super chill. We're gonna be looking at real estate in a little bit, so um, Melissa and I will tell you more about that in a minute. It's a hair wash day, so Melissa's still getting ready, so I think I'm gonna go get some coffee. We're in Hawaii, I'm sure Jeff already told you guys. Uh, but we have a lot going on today. We actually have been at this um, hotel for a couple days now. We have just been relaxing this because this is like our first trip since before COVID without kids. Like we literally have not gone anywhere without at least Jagger. So we're here because uh, we had some hotel points obviously we wanted to use. Uh, we had a thing that was like expiring soon for like a free night and I was like, obviously I want to use that in Hawaii. So we we're doing that, taking our first vacation without the kids in forever. And then we're also here because we are going to be looking at some houses. Um, if you guys have watched a vlog for any length of time, you probably already know this, but um, we spent, oh gosh, like four months living in Oahu with the kids, um, I think like last year. Um, and we did that because we wanted to take the kids, bring them all out and see if they like liked it out here. They did. <laughs> they loved I mean, it. Come on. I mean, like, who would gave them it? chocolate to see if they liked it. Yeah, candy. to see if they liked it. Uh, <laughs> so they did. And ever since then, um, now that we know that, like, we could live here because we were here for months and, like, so we were able to kind of, like, see what that lifestyle would look like. Um, and the kids really liked it. And actually, some of the kids have mentioned that they want to go to school out here, like, college out here. And so I looked into that a little more. And if you have a place here, you know, you can get, like, in state tuition. Uh, which for college is a really, really, really big, deal. really big deal. So that's actually one of the main reasons why we're looking. We're exclusively looking at properties that have more than one, um, what's it called? Like more than one unit. So like basically to explain is like in Hawaii, it's very common to have what's called like an ohana, which is like a rental unit, like a mother-in-law unit or like an ADU on the property. And so we're looking at properties exclusively that have like, they have to have at least one, but like ideally have like two like other units like on the property that we can um, rent out. And there's actually one I'm really excited about seeing today because there's actually two local families living in two of the units and there's like a third, the third like part of the house or a level of the house basically that is vacant. And so something like that I think would be like really ideal for us because like, then we just have like people live, you know, we have like the renters there and then yep. we can use, you know, the floor, the whatever. I know they section it by floors typically, but then we could use the floor of the house, you know, when we need to, where the kids need to yeah. or whatever. And I think we, I mean, I think we, I would love to move out here. Yeah. You know, I mean, California is cool, like super cool, but like Sacramento Valley, you're looking at, I mean, look it up. I don't think I'm exaggerating too much. But it's like 110 for like a month or oh, it's six a, weeks. It's at least 110. It's so uncomfortable. Like, well, you know, we're fortunate. We, you know, we bought a house at a pool on purpose because we have the kids in the hot summer. But still, it's so hot outside. We have to wait till it's shaded, or else I feel like I'm melting. Yeah, like, that is, is like hot. the biggest problem I think. So I grew up in the area, and so like we live in California, um, but we live in Northern California, like closer to the capital and the valley. Where we live so we're like when we live we say oh, we live in california like we don't live by the beach like we live like i mean we could drive to like san francisco in like less than two hours and there's i mean they're i guess you're coastal yeah. but like northern california beaches are not like what you would typically think of when you think of california beaches you always think of like southern california and like san diego and like all that area um northern california is not that um it is beautiful in like its own way and there's a lot to do up there like it is a really good place to live but it does get pretty extreme weather in the summer and it's really, really difficult when you have like a family and like your kids can't even go outside and your pets cannot go outside because it's like literally too hot. I do want to grab a coffee and my favorite coffee place is across the street. So yes, we need to go over there and grab an iced coffee and get on our way because I think that open house has started 30 minutes ago. So we just went to an open house and it was beautiful. It was really nice. Had a pool, had like a little Ohana suite, like a renter. There was a tenant in there right now, so we didn't get to go in, but they had like a floor plan and stuff of it. The house was really well kept. Um, this one that we're at right now is the one I'm most excited about because it has like multiple units. We're gonna get to see them all, but we're gonna go in the vacant one right now. All right, this is it. It's vacant oh, and big. You should show, like, oh my gosh, it has like amazing views. Look at this. Oh yeah, you can. 
Yeah, that you can kind of see so it, cool. right? Out the top. Nice. It's a big kind of like kitchen, living room, open yeah, so, concept. So this property has a three bedroom, two bath, a two bedroom, two bath, and a one bedroom, one bath. So we're in the two bedroom, two bath right now. Okay, so if we're to stay here though, we probably have to have Jagger in our room and then like a couple bunk beds in the other. If, if we were gonna, right? yeah. That's like when we come visit. Or also what we'll do, we would do a large sofa that pulls out into yeah. a bed. Look how so. cool this is though. It has like the vaulted ceiling. Yeah. Like this is so cool. It's got a balcony? Yeah. Uh-huh, I mean, you know, you're just looking at your neighbors. I mean, oh, okay, I mean, you can say ocean view, that is like, 2% ocean view. Have you ever stayed in a hotel? You've stayed in a hotel before. You know what they yeah. think anything counts. I mean, this isn't much of an ocean view. <laughs> Let's check out the bedroom here. All right, two big closets. Back down to the street, little wall AC unit. Okay, everything's in one here. Washer, dryer, shower. Oh, the washer, dryer's in here? Yeah, so it's all in one here. So is in need of a update, but most of the homes here are, unless you have like unlimited money, which we do not. <laughs> nope. So, a little bit of a fixer, but um, we're okay with that. We, we've renovated our, I mean, you guys have seen in the vlog, we watched a long time, we've renovated our own houses. So, um, that's, I like a project, that's fun. So it's like an hour later. We were at the house for, for a, a while. very long time. We met all the people that live there. They were very nice. They were very nice. Um, got a tour of the whole, the three units, um, the yard, everything. Um, I really, really yeah. like that neighborhood. Um, and like I said, we are kind of looking for something where we could have um, some local families live there and like the other units and stuff as well. So it would not just like one house. So something like that, while it does, does definitely need a little bit of work. Yeah, there was some water damage and a couple things that definitely would need to get fixed before yeah. could, anyone could live there. But I think it has a lot of potential and the neighborhood is like amazing. Like it's like right down the street from the beach. Such a cute little well-kept neighborhood, tons of kids. Like it's on a cul-de-sac, which is like yeah. really, really ideal. Um, the first house we went to, the open house, that was kind of on a weird street. Like it was very... Yeah. Yeah, so that one, I mean, the house was beautiful. Also, it was a little bit out of budget for us. It was just an open house. So yeah, we, we didn't like it because it was too expensive. It was, well, I mean, of course. No, but I didn't really. It wasn't, yeah, we are in front of another house right now that is also an open house. And I think this one does have um, some different units okay. as well. It's in a different neighborhood. So I'm not super familiar with this neighborhood, but it looks nice. Yeah. Um, and I like, so it's all gated. Like, it looks it looks, it looks, looks cute from the front. Um, so we're going to go in there. I don't think we're taking the camera, though, because, nope. again... Um, it's an open house live and here, people live here, so. And we're gonna be Forget super it. respectful of that, but we'll let you guys know uh, what we think in just a minute. That one was not for us. No, so the main house is cute really, it's cute inside, but like they had a lot of pets in there. Like it was, it was, it would need a lot of work because of the, of the pet damage I think. But yeah. also this one was only two units, like it was like a bigger main house and then a little one bedroom like little rental. And I think we kind of like the idea of having like Option for more. Option for more yeah. units. So yeah, not for us. And kind of driving around this neighborhood a little bit more, I think the other neighborhood would be like better also, right? Yeah, closer to the beaches, mm -hmm. I think, because that's like key, right? If you're going to be in Hawaii, you got to be near the, be priority, near the beaches. Priority. I think because from the other neighborhood, you can like walk, ride bikes, golf carts. I saw some golf carts like to go to the beach. That would be really fun yeah. to have a golf cart. I know. I think they're like street legal up to like what, like areas that are like 40 miles per hour. Yeah. I don't know. I'm anyway, sure. that would be super fun to have a golf cart at the beach, right? Now we are somewhere that we have never been before. <laughs> it is the Maui Brewing Company. And I don't know if you could see, but I broke my glasses. I put them <laughs> in my back pocket, I think, and sat on them. Are those the only pair you brought on this whole trip? Yeah, and they're kind of sharp. So we might like, have to make a stop and pick up some. No, nah, I mean, I don't mind. Oh, I have some lady cool. glasses. I have like mm. a couple pairs. I think that I have some that it's are It's a lady. Oh, pink ones? Pink ones. I could probably pull it off. Look how cute it is back here. They have some cornhole. Oh, that is fun. Lights all strung up. This is cool. This is really cool. Look at this. There's open seating, so we're just gonna... It's huge. Open seat, yeah. This is where they grew all the beer, I think, right? Like, yeah, this is like their island. main... I think behind you is like... I don't know if you can oh, see yeah, with the reflection. That's where they make it. Yeah, but that's... They make it back there. So we got a beer tasting flight so that we would decide which ones we wanted to order after that. Which one do you like so far? Uh, we both like the mana one. The, yeah, this one is like pineapple, super good. And then we just got a plate of fish tacos. 
which I guess it's like local, local caught fish. So I'm never gonna turn down a fish taco. I like that pinky up, pinky up set. Keep it classy. So I think that's uh, about it for these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's super windy, so I'm trying to block the microphone back there. But we're heading to the beach now. Oh, uh, Mui, Mui, Maui Brewing Company was really good. It's and, really cool. Uh, really recommend it for yeah, really good food. Island. I had good fish tacos, and Melissa had a salad. Uh, but we're gonna head to the beach now. So I'm showing Jeff all the different beaches, like along the little strip here. Yeah, they're like pretty awesome. You haven't been to as many as me, right? Like this is your first <laughs> time here. Yeah. Um, this this beach park is like so cool. So it's a public park, and it has Look like lifeguards and a playground and bathrooms, and like like the amenities are so amazing. Like how much fun would the kids have on that little swing set? Oh yeah, no, it's super cute. Look at this, another lifeguard stand. Mm -hmm. Right, just hanging out there, and look at these trees. They're beautiful. Here's the beach. It's a little rocky. This one is like the rocky one. So there's like the one that we were at before. Did you get any footage of it? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that one like didn't have any rocks, but I feel like the closer you get to like where the hotels are, it gets a little rockier. We just got back to the room and we changed to go down to the pool. We probably have maybe two hours of sun before they close. Evening Everything comes. in the pool here is so early. Like for some reason, I don't know why, but it, every, everything by like four or five o'clock is completely dead. Also, really funny, I don't, I don't, didn't notice this when they first brought them in, I, but I guess when they make the bed, it's like really apparent. Do you, do you wanna show them our pillows? Well, yeah. <laughs> so Melissa always asks for extra pillows, and yeah. that seems excessive, I, I have to admit. I feel like it's the perfect amount. <laughs> I was really comfortable last night, but I, now I'm thinking to myself like, the guy that brought the pillows, like what did he think we were just having like a pillow fight in here or something? Like, what did he think we are doing pillow with like, fight. there's like 15 pillows that they brought in. Like do they think we're, we're making a makeshift bed somewhere else in the room? <laughs> so we're at the pool, it is a little windy. Um, we got some drinks, some Mai Tais, and Jeff is reading, you wanna tell everybody the book that you're reading that you grabbed out of my bag that you're well, enthralled with? No, so, no I don't want to tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought an Akatar book. Um, on our trip for the airplane and Jeff found it and he's been reading it. What do I you think of it so far? The internet wasn't working and it was the only book that we had and I didn't want to read the escape plan for the airplane anymore. Oh, but it's good so, though, right? So are you, so you it liking it? So it starts off, it's kind of like, in the beginning it's kind of like Hunger Games and then it's like Beauty and the Beast and now it's like Dungeons and Dragons. Well, you've, you've got like eight books to go. So I'm not so. that far into it, but you know, it, I mean, it's good. It's a fantasy novel, you know, it's like, you know. So today I think was eventful. Yeah, We it was saw fun. a lot of, a lot of houses. I really like the one. Um, and then there's one we might oh, see the, tomorrow. Oh, well, the one that we show the inside of the top yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that. And it is a fixer. It's definitely a fixer, but I think, um, I, I can see the potential in stuff. You know, like I've worked in real estate for a long time, so I kind of like a project like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is this has been a fun trip. We are watching the sunset right now. Yes. And it is a little cloudy. A little but it is cloudy. Still very beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's crazy beautiful. And if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it really means a lot to us. Um, and if you watch the whole thing, leave a house emoji in the comments. Oh. Or a wave. Or a wave. And, like the ocean and then that's falls. how we'll know that you watched to the that's end right. of this video. And we will see you guys next time.